Hello friends, Doug Fink, 15-time Microsoft MVP, wrote a book on PowerShell, and in this video I want to cover how to use the PowerShell PSAI module, bringing ChatGPT to PowerShell in the console and your scripts. And today specifically we're going to take a look at the, a new module called PSAI Agent where you can build agents, autonomous agents, in PowerShell. So let's do this. So if you want to get started with this, a few things you need to do. You want to get yourself a key at the OpenAI website. Uh, put down five bucks. It only uses up to five dollars, so you can't have any runaway costs. Um, do that, get yourself a key, and set that key up as dollar $ENV colon OpenAI key. And set that key, and then you can start to play around with the PSAI uh, module, which is, you can install that this way. So let's take a look at uh, new AI, uh, new agent. So what that does is, is this uh, hooks you up to an OpenAI model. The default is the 4.0 Mini, and you can set that to any model that OpenAI has. Uh, and what you can simply do is you can say get agent response, and what you see is I'm asking, I'm prompting it with what is today? And we'll kick that off. And you say, you see it comes back with March 29th, 2023. So that's pretty odd because why would a computer program come back with a over a year ago date? That's because the models are trained on data and that's one of the training dates that uh, the model picks up of, of what it was trained on. And that's the challenge that's been around since LLMs started coming online. You know, you couldn't ask it about this and, and certain types of things like real-time data. For example, let's try this again. And what if I ask for job numbers for 2024? Let's we'll see what it says. And it comes back, could you clarify? You're asking for job forecasts. Um, so it doesn't, typically it comes back with a response or adds to this that it can't get real-time information. So it can't figure out things about dates and it can't figure out things about within, you know, after its training date. So we need to give it some tools. So with new agent, what you can do is you can set a variable if you want. And I'm going to set it to this. Let's take off some of this. And I have something called new tably AI tool and that sets up a simple PowerShell function. Um, it's called invoke web search. As you can see, all it is is a parameter. I check to see if you have a key set for the tably, which you can easily get here. And this is a free service and it's a search engine that is tuned for AI type consumption. You can get uh, your key. I think they give you a thousand queries a month and then it resets. Anyway, so it's a typ typical set your base URL. And then it has a bunch of parameters. And in there I'm, I'm showing that I can set it to the, I can grab that environment key. I want a basic search. Here's the query. I want a max results of five. And, and then towards the end, I'm just gonna do a standard invoke rest method that PowerShell has. And method is post. I'm gonna take that base URL and I'm gonna look at the search endpoint and pass in those parameters that contain my query, etc., And then I'm gonna print out the results. So it's a standard PowerShell function that we're all familiar with. So if I want to do something like invoke, invoke web search PowerShell, this goes off, gets those results, and this, is, this goes back from Tably. Okay, so back to the dollar agent, New Tably tool under the covers does a bunch of things, not many, very simple to register that function so that the AI model can work with it. I'm also going to do something called, I um, have a show call, show tools call uh, switch. You can see the calls being made to the, to the model. In addition, you can pass instructions and you can think of instructions as a, a prompt. And I'm going to say today uh, is, and since we're inside a string inside of PowerShell, get date, I can use string interpolation, and 
set my agent up. Now the agent set up with the tool, so I gave it something I can work with, get real time information. Okay. And here's the tools. Shelter calls is true. There's a basic configuration for the LLM you want to use. And there's my instructions. So now I can take the agent and I can say, get the agent response. And because I'm giving it the tools, it knows that today that I'm running it is August 26, 2024. All right. So once this information is provided in a set of, in terms of a prompt or a steering prompt or a system prompt, depending on how you want to look at it any different ways, all right, the model now knows how to get today's date. Even better, um, job numbers for 2024, you can see the model took my query, my prompt, and then turned it into this query and then figured out how to call it in bulk web search, realized that it had a tool that it could use, and it comes back with a bunch of different information. We'll take this uh, one step further, and I'll say job numbers for the last three Decembers. Now typically the response comes back in a markdown format, so I have something called Glow that you could install, and it um, renders Markdown nicely into the console. So I just updated my prompt, right? Same piece that we did before. Now, watch this. Notice is the model is figuring out that it needs to make three calls to the web search tool to figure out 21, 22, 23. It knows those are the three years because I gave you the date. And there you have a nicely printed um, rendered piece of markdown. And I'm in the console, I'm in the Windows terminal, so I can actually hover over and then control click go to these particular things these particular links in addition I could have saved this to a file um, I could have saved it to a .md and then I could open up in an editor I could render it or I could email it so on and so forth um, so that's where we're going to end if you want to find out more about the new agent stuff um, and how to build tools check the links in the description below enjoy stay curious